how to analyze XPS data or how to interpret XPS data in a research paper. When you want to write a research paper and you want to interpret XPS data or if you want to include XPS data in your thesis or in your dissertation, so how to analyze it, how to write the detail about the XPS analysis in the research paper. So this video is for you. Let's see, in my case, we just synthesize zinc oxide and graphene oxide composite. In your case, maybe different material. In another case, maybe different materials. But the interpretation, the analysis is same. We know that in XPS, we just take two spectra. The first one is the survey spectra. The survey spectra basically we use for elemental analysis. This is clear. The second spectra we take for high resolution spectra. From the high resolution spectra, we identify here the interfacial interaction. Here this means the bonding, the oxidation state. What is the oxidation state? We, we, we find this information from high resolutions. What is the bonding information? Bonding. This means that what is the surrounding environment of that particular elements, whether this zinc make the composite with graphene or not, whether they make bonding or not. So this kind of information we get from high resolution spectra. So let me show you the graph first and then we will come and read this interpretation. Uh, as I explained that our material is basically zinc oxide and graphene oxide composite here. So this means that in the XPS spectra, there must be zinc here, there, there must be oxygen and there must be carbon. We know because graphene made from carbon, so there must be carbons. So we will find these three elements. So this is basically the survey spectra. This is this first one is the survey spectra and we can clearly see that we have carbon, we have oxygen, we have zinc. We identify the elements that what type of elements exist here. Now, this, these peaks are we call convoluted peaks. Convoluted peaks mean that we cannot exactly the, see the, the, the detailed analysis. That is basically we call convoluted. So, we have to now deconvolute these peaks. And for that purpose, we have to take basically the high resolution spectra. This is now basically the, 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 the carbon peak. So, the, this, this carbon peak, we deconvolute and we get this peak here. You see here? So we can see that one big peak here is another peak here and we can see three type of bonding here. Carbon with carbon, carbon with oxygen and carbon with carbon with double bond here. Similarly, look here, this oxygen peak, we just uh, expand it, re zoom it, resolve it with high resolution spectra. So we get here uh, some peaks here and have some asymmetric peak here. Did you will see what is this basically asymmetry basically mean here in this oxygen here. So it also gives us a lot of information about the defects in the chemisorb, etc. And now let's come here. Uh, we usually say that uh, this doublet is not possible in the uh, survey spectra, but in some instances it is possible in the survey spectra here. So this, this in this survey spectra, the doublet is already clear, but it is a little bit difficult to identify the exact bonding energy. So we have to deconvolute this peak as well. And when we deconvolute this peak, so we can see that the bonding energy is very clear here. We clearly identify the bonding energy. Now let's see the detail here. Uh, we have to write like this. The XPS analysis reveal the elemental composition of this uh, nanocomposite as well as the interfacial interaction among the composition. The composition basically means the zinc, oxygen, and carbon. Uh, in you, in your case, this this combination may be different. Maybe you are doping, or maybe you are uh, talking about the a magazine here, if you are talking about the pyroscite, like the ABX3 structure, so it, it varies to any structure, right? So we have to start like this. And now, let, let's see here, as shown in the figure, uh, the XPS survey spectra, as I explained, the XPS survey spectra of this nanocomposite establish carbon 1 peak, oxygen, and zinc uh, 2 peak peak, because we are talking about the another survey spectra, we are not talking about to interpret this into detail here, that the 2p half, the 2p 3 by 2. So this is we have to talk about the survey spectra a little bit and talk about their energies, main main energies. If you can, if you can uh, calculate or identify the energy, the binding energy on the x-axis, okay. If it is difficult, so we can explain these energies at the uh, high resolution spectra. Now, as we as we know that there are three main peaks: the carbon, oxygen, and zinc 2p. So now we have to 
explain each peak uh, in detail. Let's see here. The deconvoluted peak of carbon 1 spectrum at this this energies correspond to this bonding carbon with carbon, carbon with oxygen. And this basically demonstrates that all contributed from graphene oxide here. This peak is basically comes from graphene oxide. If this peak has nothing to do with this uh, zinc here. Right? So this all contribution comes from this graphene oxide. And another important thing that you have to get reference here because reference is very important because it strengthens your uh, your uh, claim that yeah the, uh, my result is matching with the literature we have to interpret the oxygen peak here because we, we know that one peak was from carbon one from oxygen another was from zinc here so we have to now interpret or uh, take the high resolution of this uh, oxygen one is peak here and when we deconvolute this one here and it also deconvolute into three peaks in survey spectra the three peaks were not visible only one peak here but when we deconvolute it here so we got three peaks here uh, and the corresponding binding energies are here so these these energies basically belongs to this uh, 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 oxygen uh, oxidation state two minus uh, and let us oxygen depicts in chemosorb respectively and here we have to again put the reference here because it strengthen it uh, validate our claim here right so this is another the second peak we explain similarly we explain the third peak here uh, for the zinc here and the similar interpretation and finally we summarize that these data adequately confirm the successful accumulation of zinc within the uh, graphene oxide lattice this means that the composite is already formed right Composite is already formed. So similarly for doping process, we can use this uh, XPS uh, technique here. Very very interesting interpretation. If you have any query about in XPS interpretation, so please do comment and please subscribe my channel.